Hey guys, so today we are heading to, I think it's one of the oldest comic book stores in Las Vegas. It is um, called the Velvet Underground. Um, I've been here for like 20 years and from what I remember, that was like the first comic book store that I ever went to when I was here in town. So that's where I'm heading over to today because uh, apparently two really cool uh, covers arrived for me. It came out a, a little while back. Uh, like a few weeks back, but um, I just had a chance now to go pick them up. But it's, uh, like I said, it's uh, two really cool covers. It's uh, Batman 89 and I believe Superman 77. So they're like these uh, really cool commemorative covers of um, Christopher Reeves and of course Michael Keaton, which anyone knows Michael Keaton's uh, gonna be in the new Flash movie. Um, I don't know when you're watching this video, but at this point the Flash movie hasn't come out yet. Hopefully it's gonna be good, but I mean, seeing Michael Keaton as Batman again it doesn't matter if the movie's total shit um, just seeing him in that that costume again and saying I'm Batman that alone is just fucking worth the, the price of admission so um, that's where I'm headed right now so I will see you guys when we get there and hopefully I can uh, you know show you guys some of the cool stuff they have in there because they also have a bunch of toys and uh, all kinds of collectibles so I will see you there So I just left the, uh, the comic book store that I went to pick up the uh, comics at. Now the guy there, now it is the old, one of like the oldest comic book stores in Las Vegas, but the guy, you know, he's, he's, he's always been a little, uh, little iffy. Fortunately, he has other people that work for him. Like he always has like either kids or like, you know, little, you know, like, you know, comic book people that just are willing to like work for him, which reminds me of a, of a magic shop in uh, Florida. The guy used to do that. He always used to have kids working for him and stuff. He wasn't a pedophile or anything like that um, he was just uh, you know <laughs> cheap labor you know but um, so yeah so he has the, the the girl that works there and she's always really nice but um, he was like you know I never understand this and I've seen it in other people's uh, uh, videos other people who are into toys and things like that that they go to different stores uh, you know around their town and um, actually shout out to uh, what's poppin and OG geek because those two guys um, you know are always in Florida they're actually uh, out of Florida and they're always going to like different stores and stuff and they have a really good channel uh, if you guys ever get a chance check it out that kind of inspired me to start doing this uh, this stuff and um, but uh, yeah as a matter of fact I'm using the same camera like uh, uh, what's popping what he uses what Seth uses and um, I actually sent him a message yesterday that you know it's a, it's a good little camera uh, that's what's on right now and um, using a, a wide lens which I've never used before uh, like on, on any of my cameras before um, so but this is uh, actually a wide lens that's why you can see a little bit more of the, the background and everything but yeah so I never understood that when they've walked they themselves it's happened to them they've walked into like a store or something and uh, the person there is like they don't want to they, they don't like allow them to film or anything and I'm just like what why not like what's wrong if anything it's gonna help you and give you some promotion it's gonna help you like with your business if, if uh, I mean I don't, I don't have a whole bunch of like people watching my my shit but even if like two people watch it and decide hey you know that seems like a cool store let me go over there that's still some extra money especially in, in these times you know it would, it would I, w I don't know like I would want people filming my store and stuff uh, so but some of these guys I don't know maybe they got some like stolen fucking Batman toys or you know like shit around that they don't want people to see that they, you know someone left a consignment and they said oh no it's gone now and then it's fucking sitting right there on the shelf the guy watches it on some channel and is like hey that's my shit so I don't know maybe that's it I don't know but uh, nonetheless he wasn't he, he was like oh, I prefer you didn't kind of thing and I'm like alright dude don't worry about it you know and that's fine you know hey if he doesn't want to film that's okay but you know I can take my money elsewhere. See, here's the thing. Comic books, you can get, and this is what people don't understand about like different businesses. Comic books and, and things like that, uh, pretty much anything, you can get anything anywhere. Fucking Amazon and, and you could go to eBay. You can find comic books anywhere. There's a bunch of comic book stores in Vegas. You can get the comic itself anywhere. You can get it from anywhere. But my money, you can only get from me. You see what I mean? You can only get my money from me. And now, I'm just taking my money to somewhere else. That's it. And being actually an independent business, a small business, um, you'd wanna, you know, keep
keep that kind of community thing going. But hey, you know what? Maybe my money doesn't matter. And and that's okay. You know, that's cool. But I just know that I'll be taking my business elsewhere from now on. Nonetheless, um, so yeah, he didn't he didn't he didn't want to want to film uh, want anything filmed in there. So that's why you guys aren't gonna be able to see that. But I will show you the comic books though, because um, they were already in my pool box. So I just took care of that, and then I was just like, okay, then you know what, cancel like my, my box and shit, and like we're done. So that's gonna be the end of that. And I'll be going to other comic book stores. There's other stores like Torpedo Comics and Underground Comics, and there's other other stores around town. Um, and worst case scenario, I'll fucking you know I'll buy it on eBay. You know I'll overpay. See, I actually memorize all the fucking holes in this place. I'm gonna switch lanes because there's a hole coming up. See, I memorize all the holes in this uh, this fucking town. And um, yeah, because the streets, honestly, look, I I love Las Vegas. I think there's a lot of good things about Vegas, but the streets are shit, man. Oh my god, like if, especially if you have like a like a low car. Holy shit. Um, yeah, the streets are like fucking full of potholes. So, but anyways. So now I'm gonna head over to uh, just, uh, I'll head back and I'll show you guys uh, the comics I got uh, once I get back to um, to the turtle lair or to my rebel base, either one. I don't know which where I'll, where I'll be, but um, I'll be at one of the two, two spots. So you'll be able to see that. But they're really cool comics. As a matter of fact, um, I got them down here. But I'll show them to you when we get there. I'll show them to you when we get there because I'm, I'm driving. I don't wanna, I don't wanna hit you know one of these fucking potholes. But anyways, uh, gonna get my taquitos at 7-Eleven, which is my my vice, my habit, and then I'll head back and uh, we'll check out those comics. All right, I'll see you guys there. I, like I said, I wish I would have shown you the store because it does have a lot of cool shit. But hey, you know, it is what it is. Alrighty, guys, see you in a bit. Well, I don't know if this will be interesting to anybody, but I'm going to get my taquitos, and you're gonna be here to watch. So, what's up, dude? Ah, there you go. Corona attacking you. Corona attacking you. What's up, man? What is that? That's your cam? Well, this is the new camera that I got this for because I'm doing the uh, the YouTube videos. What up? Yeah, man. So, I have just started the thing. I posted like the first one yesterday. So, <laughs> wanted to show getting my taquitos. Picked up some comics, and now gotta get some taquitos. Uh, yes, please. Look at these. Impressive. Look at these babies. Fresh, fresh. It's like another another one of my things that's like cracked to me. <laughs> yeah, dude. Love it. How's everything else? Good, dude. Always good. So what have you been up to? Same shit every day. There you go. So I got my taquitos, getting ready to get out of here, but I just noticed something, this little box here is, mmm, they're tender and juicy. Tender and juicy. Just like everything else that walks around Tropicana here in Las Vegas. The girls that walked up and down Tropicana, they're just like my taquitos, they're tender and juicy. There's not many during the day, but some night I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. <laughs> the uh got the comics right here ah so by the way this is the the turtle there it's a it's a little little dark because you know we're we're kind of uh underground have to crawl through some pipes to get in here but you know it's uh it's one of my cool little places that i have so i wanted to show you guys the comics that i got even though we couldn't show you the store itself um i wanted at least get a chance to show you these these are actually pretty cool I'll show you I know there's one more cover that I'm missing uh, that I actually really wanted there's there's one specific cover that I really really wanted uh, but here's a couple of them so we've got the Superman 78 now to me there's only one Superman and that is you know look 
Henry Henry Cavill looks like a nice guy. I'm not gonna say anything about the guy on a personal level. As far as Superman, nah. see, I, I, Superman is Christopher Reeves, not only in the movies but in real life. I mean, you're talking about a guy who you know is inspirational to a lot of people. As a matter of fact. I remember when he passed away and I've looked for this everywhere. I can't fucking find it, not even like on Google Images or anything. Um, when he passed away, there was um, a cover that they did of uh, like a USA Today. It was when he passed away and it didn't say like Christopher Reeves died. It was on the cover. It was like that iconic like Superman pose of him like pointing upwards. And it was um, said on the cover, uh, Superman dies. So, I mean, that's, that's fucking cool. But anyway, so this is uh, this is actually one of the covers. This is uh, Superman 77, 78, sorry. And um, that's actually like uh, one of the cool covers. The other one is him holding one of the crystals, which is pretty cool. I, I this one's cool. Does it, I, the only thing I didn't really like about this one, if you look at the face, like really look at the face, you can't really like see Reeves there. Like, I don't know, just doesn't, hmm. It's okay. It's I mean it's it's still cool because it shows the crystal. Um, and if I ever get like a prop crystal, which I've been looking to get, um, I'll put it with that, and it'll be cool. Um, I'm saving the best one for like last. So I always get more than one comic just because I have friends that sometimes will like want one, like they'll see it on my wall or something. I want it, and I'll have like an extra one to give them to be like, here you go, man. So it's cool. Um, but this is the the other. This is the, like an alt, like the second uh, Batman cover, which um, it's Batman eighty nine, as you can see here. So now this Batman eighty nine cover it shows Billy D Williams as Harvey Dent, which that's the way it was supposed to go. It was uh, that's why they had had him in like the first one because he was going to be Harvey Dent, like he was going to be Two Face eventually. So that's why you can see that that's that's uh, Billy D Williams right there. Um, so yeah and it's uh it's keaton so what this is supposed to be like a continuation of like batman the 89 movie between batman uh and batman returns so this is pretty cool and um so this is pretty cool and sam ham who actually was one of the people involved in the batman movie is actually one of the, the people involved in this comic book so you know the tim burton hasn't been involved which is interesting i don't think they've had a, a take on on burton and even keaton said he hasn't talked to burton about him reprising the role as 89 Batman. But the ultimate cover, the one that I really wanted, like really, really wanted, I mean, look at this thing. This is the fucking cover right here. Batman, 89, look at that shit. Same fonts and everything as the original movie. I mean, like this thing is amazing. So I, this cover is just so badass. I mean, seriously. I know some people like, like whack at the Playboy and shit like that but uh this this will do it for me right here yep this is some uh definite uh private time reading this you know because look at look at this shit that's batman right there oh see same thing like like christian bale mm, i mean once you're in the suit anybody can fill the suit that's not the thing but it's how you play bruce wayne and I really liked Keaton's take on Bruce Wayne, you know, because he was a little bit more Tony Starkish. He was a little bit more like happy-go-lucky kind of guy. I mean, I know your parents died and everything, but I mean, you're fucking, you know, you're Batman. You got all these fucking cool things, and you know, hmm, what would I prefer? My parents to have died or become Batman? See, that's a toss-up, because you know, I'm fucking around. Of course not. I would take Batman in a heartbeat. But anyways, so that was pretty much what I got over there. And then I'm going to probably um, do another video kind of catching up on yesterday's convention and the stuff I got, which was like the Ghostbuster stuff. And, and um, it was the, the two Ghostbuster uh, toys that I got that were really cool, the 30th anniversary ones. And then I got uh, three 12-inch um, of the big like He-Man figures. So that's what I'll probably do like afterwards, but I'm not going to do it here. And as far as the taquitos, I mean, you know, come on, they're fucking gone. They're like, like magic. They're gone already. So um, speaking of which, I did find this. This is fucking cool. Check this out. This has nothing to do with any of this, but anyone who might know or remember, I'm a magician, actually. That, that's my real like gig that I've done for years. Um, I just don't feel like doing it now. Um, I still get calls and shit. I just don't want to do it. 
but so I being the magician still, I had to get this as soon as I saw it over there. I don't know what this is, or I don't really care. I just saw this cover and I was like, wow, this is fucking cool. So there it is right there. Look at that shit. That's a cool cover. I think her, her name is Zatanna or something like that, but that's like a, just an awesome cover. So yeah, I had to get that. But anyways, so this is uh, my little comic book haul for the day. And again, I'm on this, uh, the Osmo Pocket. I'm, I'm loving this little camera. So it's giving me an excuse to do a little bit more of these videos. It's the first time that I've actually like sat in, in the lair and done anything like this. So um, it's kind of, I know it's kind of dark. It's supposed to be because that's kind of like the, you know, what it is in here. This is all the lighting we can get. And hopefully no water starts to drip on me or anything while I'm filming. Um, because like I said, you can see, you know, we've got the pipes and stuff. And, you know, these guys are, are uh, not that wonderful in maintenance. So... Um, the, the turtles, they're not that great in maintenance. I mean, look, you know, you got pizza boxes over here and, you know, Mikey's left a slice up there that's going to attract rats. Huh. Anyways, but guys, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, like I said, it's my first little baby steps into YouTube and we'll see how it goes. And once again, just a big thank you to uh, OG Geek and what's popping for the inspiration for all this crap. So, um Hopefully uh, at some point I'll hit Florida and uh, we'll hit up some toy stores. But until then, guys, thank you very much. And I will post a video of the He-Man stuff and the Ghostbuster stuff, but not from the lair. Um, I'll because uh, the, the water's rising a little bit. Um, I'll actually uh, post from my little movie theater uh, place. So I will see you guys later. Bye.